Hi, I'm Dana Van Fleet, co-owner of the Cask and Flagon. Fall is nearly upon us, and you know what that means. Time for football. Where there's football, there's tailgating. We're here at Gillette Stadium tailgating before our Patriots game. And my first tip, get here early and get that perimeter spot. Okay, great. We're here bright and early, just like I said on my first tip. We can see we have a corner spot in the back. Perfect. Extra space is what you get when you get a perimeter corner spot. Time to unload. Let's get started and get this tailgate going. Okay, now that we're all here and we're set up, a few tips of how to set up a proper tailgate. First thing I like to do is go on Google Earth and check out my spot. Then I check out the weather, look for things like wind direction, because you don't want to set up your grill upwind, that way you don't smoke out all your friends. Now of course, something that every tailgate needs, especially in the winter time when it's cold, is a fire. When you're tailgating at Gillette Stadium, make sure your fire is contained. Some people like to spend $100, $200 on this extravagant fire pit. I like to go to a home improvement store and spend $20 on a barrel. My fire is contained, I have a good fire. Now most tailgates begin in the daylight. When you're coming out of the Patriots game or just before an 8 o'clock game, don't be surprised by the dark and make sure you bring plenty of lighting. I have a battery operated light and I have a propane light that runs off my 20 pound propane. It gives me plenty of light for my friends, for cooking and for packing up right before you're heading home. Okay, another important piece of equipment for the tailgate party is a generator. Another great tip when placing a generator, and that's where it comes into play when you're on the perimeter spot. It gives you the ability to take the generator and stick it out into the woods behind a tree, and that way the loud noise isn't annoying to you and all your friends. Now, of course, if you're going to be tailgating outside, one important thing is your cooler. A place to keep all that food you're going to be cooking up for all your friends, and of course, a good place to keep your beer cold. Okay, now let me give you some of my tent tips. Even if you don't think it's windy, always bring some weights for the legs because you never know when that wind is gonna pick up. Now my little secret that I learned the hard way is to make sure that you tie down the eaves on those super windy days. I take a string up here, tie it to the eave, run it out to a cinder block, and that keeps the whole top from shaking and thus falling down. Now of course at our tailgate, we have to have cooking apparatus. I have a two burner stove and a charcoal grill. Because we're not doing subs of Chinese food here, folks. We're cooking up some real good tailgate food. To get the charcoal started, I use my charcoal chimney starter. And the important aspect of using one of these is not to use a charcoal that's saturated in lighter fluid because that's just going to make your food taste awful. You put your charcoal on top, the newspaper underneath, you light up that newspaper, and you let it sit and wait till the flames are up top. Once they're there, you take the charcoal, you dump it right into your grill, and you're ready to cook. Now don't forget to check out Tailgating Part 2, where I'm going to show you how to cook up all the delicious food that we cook up at our tailgate parties. Go Pats, and I'm looking forward to seeing you at the Cask and Flagon.